retail therapy time. We had to go shopping. Not so bad. Not so or bad. Or was it? Uh, we, we spent some money this week on some new tools. So stay tuned as we go over our Cleveland tools and yard store and all Amazon orders that we received this week. We went shopping. Kind of had to. Why did we go shopping? Do we need this? The instructions say we do, and our good friends say we do that help us out. So after the first week of building, um, we, we, we learned that, um, one, we learned that number and systems are stupid crazy. They sent us two. Oh, twice as good. One for you. One for me. Excellent. Memorize. Got the test it. is tomorrow. So a number 30 drill bit for a number four rivet with a what size screw? Mm, goes, I don't know. Yes. And then what size nut goes on the end of it? Yeah. So. Oh, don't forget about the washer sizes. Yes. So there's all these different numbering systems that I spent time researching it. Uh, it it's just, it doesn't commit to memory. Uh, it, it, it's tough. Uh, and then you start doing, well, you we got a number of 19 drill bits. So what, what the heck am I gonna do with that? Um, so reading ahead in the steps, it was time to go shopping. So the first thing we bought, what was the most important purchase? Probably this guy. Yes. So. It's so much lighter than the pneumatic squeezer, and I think I'm going to like it a lot. Yeah. Because I struggle holding that big old thing. So rule number one, squeeze it if you can. If you can't squeeze it, find a better squeezer so <laughs> you can squeeze more. Uh, and then do get different yokes. Only buck rivets when you have to. So to go with our new tool, what, what? We've got several of these. So we got the standard three inch. Okay. And then we got the big daddy number four inch. Yeah. Now this is a, no, this is a full number four. It's not the thin nose one. Did, yep. This is the, and then we got the baby, the one inch that has the thin nose. Yep. Yeah, that's the thing. Got your knife on you, I'll open them. It's like Christmas. So explain why the little one's gonna be important. It's in tight spots. This one does oh, this is the regular one. I was like, this one kinda has a taper. Yep. So the thin nose ones. You only put one, you put the the ram through here and your piece, your uh, piece through there, but it's just a flat piece there that it um, squeezes on. It's for squeeze, squeeze rivets only. This does not dimple because you can't put a male or female side in it. So it's for um, set in rivets only. Yeah. Whereas this, these, you've got the attachment places on the bottom and the top, so the ram can go through and you can put your die, uh, either the male or female on this side and the opposite one over there, so you can dimple uh, with the uh, so standard ones. how does ones. this work? These are the quick change pins? Yeah, I think uh, we'll need to, I'm not going to do that on air. Okay. Maybe try. I guess... This is truly quick change. Are you supposed to open it maybe? No. <laughs> the other side? I don't know. Oh goodness. <laughs> this is why I wasn't quite. Okay, let's just skip that part. Oh, now you got my attention. Now I want to do it. 
learning live on air. Uh, I bet you it's going to be just a little bit of a hammer in. Um, there are instructions, so we will probably uh, read those and come back to this. But the theory is you... And they come with another little sizing chart. Oh, one more sizing chart. Awesome. Yeah. So you set these pins. They're, they're quick release pins. So um, it's relatively quick and easy to change your yoke. Um, First instructions. You can destroy your squeezer if you do not follow the rules. Yep. If you ignore the rules below, damage will not be covered under the warranty. Okay. Let's read the rules. We'll read the rules. So we are looking forward here where's the other pen so that's what it'll look like when we're ready to use it get a nice squeeze really looking forward to that got several yokes all of the this came from cleveland tools um and we needed more reamers yeah a couple more sizes of reamers actually these are the standard 30 and 40 reamers uh so we can use those to deburr and um when needed. Um, we got some of the non-standard sizes for the bigger bolts. Um, what else did we get from Cleveland? New mushroom head? Yes. So shiny. So shiny. When we first started building, a friend of ours um, basically opened his garage up to us. Uh, I have a whole bunch of tools that I can't use, so go ahead and just take them. So that's where we got our squeezer, our rivet gun, um, some bucking bars, a uh, whole bunch of miscellaneous aircraft rivets, uh, a whole bunch of just stuff that really got us started. Uh, I was excited. It was like, great, we got all of our tools. Like, no, 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 you got like 30% of your tools. <laughs> and I was like, nah, maybe it's like 50. Yeah, he was right. He, it was 30%, but it was still a critical 30% that got us started, and we were very appreciative of it. Will was able to get us through most of our practice kids. Yes including a C-frame dimpler that we have down here, uh, which we're debating whether or not we're actually going to use it. But some of his tools have been well used, so um, getting a um, fresh mushroom head. Looking forward to setting some rivets with that. I think he's on to building a car now instead of an yep. airplane. Yes, <laughs> and it's all pop rivets for him. This is a must-have kit, uh, so I'm told by... Uh, so everyone this is from everyone this is an oops kit <laughs> thank you rick yes this oops kit um basically has so let's say you have a number three rivet that you have to drill out and you end up drilling the hole a little bit bigger you still have a number three dimple size but now you need a bigger diameter so this is a number three um head with a number four diameter of a rivet. So it covers up your oopses really well. Um, I hope we end this build with this package still mostly full. I'm probably gonna have to order a couple more packages. Yep. But it comes with a whole bunch of different sizes and um, you know, it, it, it's a good way to say, well, I can fix this and not have to order an expensive part and then probably pay more in shipping than uh, the part is actually worth. <laughs> So uh, I think that's all we got from Cleveland. Yeah. Um, our other favorite source of tools is the yard store. Um, yard store is another aviation specific um, site. Um, some of their stuff is a little um, more affordable than Cleveland tools. And uh, they've, the quality so far has been really good. So um, our initial yeah. tool batch, we've made a lot of uh, orders from yard store. Um, First, we got a step drill kit. Because the next section has step drilling. Yep. And this is another one where there are all kinds of different measurements. And I got confused on what side size I actually needed. So I went ahead and bought the kit and got them all. I figured I got it covered. Because so I was going to try to buy just the one that we needed. And then I was like, you know what? At some point in time, we're going to need... Um, another one so let's just let's just get our bases covered uh you get a discount for buying all three together versus buying one by one so i was like all right done um again having the tool and not wait in is worth a lot yeah. so got our step drill kit whole bunch of small stuff in here 
Let's see what we got. Let's start with a uh, number 27 drill bit. Somewhere in the instructions we saw that and also cross-referenced on uh, the... Uh, the list. The tool list, a number 17 drill bit. We did get the 17. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> uh, number 19. We have, well, let's keep on the drill bits here, uh, and a 1 8 inch drill bit. Yes. So let's change number in systems in the middle. Thank you, uh, confusing people, for uh, not making this easy. Are you stressing out just going through this order like <sighs> you were when you ordered it? <laughs> I'm one of those people, I try to be efficient with everything I do. So I was like, okay, I need this, I need that. The instructions say this, and I have to convert it to that. And all that. I was like, you know what, just buy it all. It was just, <laughs> it, it, it was, I, I was legit stressing out over this order. I was like, it was complicated. I'm trying to, you know, do we need this? Do we not need this? So we probably bought more than we needed. So for every drill bit that we have, I want a dimple die set to go with it. So we've got our uh, 1 8 inch dimple die. We already have this. This is what we use for the um, number 30 uh, drill bit, which is the number four rivet. Uh, but having two set up so we can set one up on the pneumatic squeezer, one on the main squeeze, and not have to change parts out. Uh, having extras of the common ones will uh, probably save us a lot of time. So Melissa and I can go to work on different ends, dimpling things of the same size. Uh, a number six um, dim uh, dimple die set. A number eight dimple die set. Then we get into other countersinking needs. Uh, so we will uh, countersink a number six and a number eight. So now we've got set up for that. I thought we ordered another countersink uh, cage. I thought we did too. Huh. We, our goal was to have a second countersink cage so that uh, we can have a, at least like a 30 and a 40 always set up and change them out less. I'll have to go look at that packing list. Uh, I thought for sure. So you see how complicated we tried our best. Uh, it's going to be okay. It's fine. Then we get our um, numbered um, long 12 inch drill bits because there are times where you need to get in there from further away. So now we'll be able to do that. Um, this was a tip that we got from our, our friends who says, you may not know it yet, but you need these, trust me. So <laughs> we do, we got them. So that was our first order. Um, this came from Amazon. Okay, let's talk about the concept of temporary nuts and bolts. <laughs> Section 25, use temporary nuts and bolts. I get it, you get nylon threaded bolts. You do not want to torque them once, take them off, redo things and put them back on. That nylon is no longer as strong. But they do not send you temporary bolt nuts. No. <laughs> and, and, and I have a huge collection of nuts and bolts, but they're not of the uh, specific thread types that these a and R, uh, a and bolts have. Yeah. So um, I don't even know if any of these will work, but having a somewhat organized set of extra nuts and uh, nuts and washers might come in handy because sometimes you need temporary nuts and bolts. Uh, if none of these work, the strategy that we were told is uh, just go ahead and use the ones they sent and just order new ones. And by the time they get here, uh, you've got to say, we're talking 40 cent bolts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, why not include six extras <laughs> in the kit? I, I, that's just, just the one thing is the instructions call for it. I kind of expected the kit to have it um, for something like a nut and bolt. Um, otherwise, because now, if it was something I could just run down to Home Depot and get, which we haven't tried, I want to take one of the bolts down and see if they have something that will thread on it. Um, so just give us temporary nuts. Make it easy on us, please. You've done so much else to make the RV-14 as easy to build as possible. I don't understand drawing the line there. I think it's just to drive you nuts. It works. So all of a sudden, I mean, I... 
I had the little mini gripes about vans in this kit, but I, I just want to say again how much we appreciate vans aircraft for getting these kits out in this very tough time and the amount of amazing engineering that has really gone into um, making this kit uh, manageable for us to build and making it within the realm of us. Uh, I love Vans Aircraft. They are um, always answering the phone for us, always answering the emails that we need to. <laughs> um, and they build a really good product. So um, so just a little no. feedback and include temporary bolts. You got to build it. <laughs> I got to build it. The product. The product, yeah. The airplane. Yeah. Well, it said they build it. No, we build it. They, they, they make it. They make it. We build it. Yeah. Well, they, they take it significantly far for us. So, so thank you, Vans Aircraft. Just send us some temporary bolts. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so that's our order between uh, a little Amazon yard store and uh, Cleveland, Cleveland Tools. Um, all sources we have come to <clears throat> know and love and recommend heavily. <laughs>